UK driving theory practice test question 1 of 50. When are you allowed to use hazard warning lights? A. When stopped and temporarily obstructing traffic. B. When traveling during darkness without headlights. C. When parked for shopping on double yellow lines. D. When traveling slowly because you are lost. The correct answer is D. When traveling slowly because you are lost. You must not use hazard warning lights when moving, except when slowing suddenly on a motorway or unrestricted dual carriageway to warn the traffic. Behind, never use hazard warning lights to excuse dangerous or illegal parking. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 2 of 50. What are triangular signs for? A. To give warnings. B. To give information. C. To give orders. D. To give directions. The correct answer is A. To give warnings. This type of sign will warn you of hazards ahead. Make sure you look at each sign that you pass on the road so that you do not miss any vital instructions or information. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 3 of 50. What does this sign mean? A. Change to the left lane. B. Leave at the next exit. C. Contraflow system. D. One-way street. The correct answer is C. Contraflow system. If you use the right-hand lane in a contraflow system, you'll be traveling with no permanent barrier between you and the oncoming traffic. Observe speed limits and keep a good distance from the vehicle ahead. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 4 of 50. What is the maximum specified fine for driving without insurance? A. £50. B. £500. C. £1,000. D. £5,000. The correct answer is D. £5,000. It is a serious offence to drive without insurance. As well as a heavy fine you may be disqualified or incur penalty points. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 5 of 50. A heavy load on your roof rack will A. Improve the road holding B. Reduce the stopping distance C. Make the steering lighter D. Reduce stability The correct answer is D. Reduce stability a heavy load on your roof rack will reduce the stability of the vehicle because it moves the center of gravity away from that designed by the manufacturer. Be aware of this when you negotiate bends and corners. If you change direction at speed, your vehicle and or load could become unstable and you could lose control. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 6 of 50 you park at night on a road with a 40 miles per hour speed limit. You should park A. Facing the traffic B. With parking lights on C. With dipped headlights on D. Near a street light. The correct answer is B. With parking lights on. You must use parking lights when parking at night on a road or lay by with a speed limit greater than 30 miles per hour. You must also park in the direction of the traffic flow and not close to a junction. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 7 of 50 You want to turn right at a box junction. There is oncoming traffic. You should A. Wait in the box junction if your exit is clear. B. Wait before the junction until it is clear of all traffic. C. Drive on. You cannot turn right at a box junction. D. Drive slowly into the box junction when signaled by oncoming traffic. The correct answer is A. Wait in the box junction if your exit is clear. You can move into the box junction to wait as long as your exit is clear. The oncoming traffic will stop when the traffic lights change, allowing you to proceed. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 8 of 50. What is the right-hand lane used for on a three-lane motorway? A. Emergency vehicles only. B. Overtaking. C. Vehicles towing trailers. D. Coaches only. The correct answer is B. Overtaking.
You should keep to the left and only use the right-hand lane if you're passing slower moving. Traffic. UK driving theory practice test question 9 of 50. You are on a motorway. A red cross is displayed above the hard shoulder. What does this mean? A. Pull up in this lane to answer your mobile phone. B. Use this lane as a running lane. C. This lane can be used if you need a rest. D. You should not travel in this lane. The correct answer is D. You should not travel in this lane. Active traffic management schemes are being introduced on motorways. Within these areas at certain times the hard shoulder will be used as a running lane. A red cross above the hard shoulder shows that this lane should not be used. Except for emergencies and breakdowns. UK driving theory practice test question 10 of 50. You are on a motorway at night with other vehicles just ahead of you. Which lights should you have on? A. Front fog lights. B. Main beam headlights. C. Side lights only. D. Dipped headlights. The correct answer is D. Dipped headlights. If you're driving behind other traffic at night on the motorway, leave a two-second time gap and use dipped headlights. Full beam will dazzle the other drivers. Your headlights beam should fall short of the vehicle in front. UK driving theory practice test question 11 of 50. You may use front fog lights with headlights only when visibility is reduced to less than A. 100 meters, 328 feet, B. 200 meters, 656 feet, C. 300 meters, 984 feet, D. 400 meters, 1312 feet. The correct answer is A. 100 meters, 328 feet. It is an offense to use fog lights if the visibility is better than 100 meters, 328 feet. Switch front fog lights off if the fog clears to avoid dazzling other road users. But be aware that the fog may be patchy. UK driving theory practice test questions 12 of 50. You are following a long lorry. The driver signals to turn left into a narrow road. What should you do? A. Overtake on the left before the lorry reaches the junction. B. Overtake on the right as soon as the lorry slows down. C. Do not overtake unless you can see there is no oncoming traffic. D. Do not overtake. Stay well back and be prepared to stop. The correct answer is D. Do not overtake. Stay well back and be prepared to stop. When turning into narrow roads, articulated and long vehicles will need more room. Initially they will need to swing out in the opposite direction to which they intend to turn. They could mask another vehicle turning out of the same junction. Don't be tempted to overtake them or pass on the inside. UK driving theory practice test question 13 of 50. It is very windy. You are behind a motorcyclist who is overtaking a high-sided vehicle. What should you do? A. Overtake the motorcyclist immediately. B. Keep well back. C. Stay level with the motorcyclist. D. Keep close to the motorcyclist. The correct answer is B. Keep well back. Motorcyclists are affected more by windy weather than other vehicles. In windy conditions, high-sided vehicles cause air turbulence. You should keep well back as the motorcyclist could be blown off course. UK driving theory practice test question 14 of 50. You are turning left from a main road into a side road. People are already crossing the road into which you are turning. You should A. Continue. As it is your right of way. B. Signal to them to continue crossing. C. Wait and allow them to cross. D. Sound your horn to warn them of your presence. The correct answer is C. Wait and allow them to cross. Always check the road into which you are turning. Approaching at the correct speed will allow you enough time to observe and react. Give way to any pedestrians already crossing the road. 
UK driving theory practice test question 15 of 50. Motorcyclists will often look round over their right shoulder just before turning right. This is because a. They need to listen for following traffic. b. Motorcycles do not have mirrors. c. Looking around helps them balance as they turn. d. They need to check for traffic in their blind area. The correct answer is d. They need to check for traffic in their blind area. If you see a motorcyclist take a quick glance over their shoulder, this could mean they are about to change direction. Recognizing a clue like this helps you to be prepared and take appropriate action, making you safer on the road. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 16 of 50 You see this sign ahead. You should expect the road to A. Go steeply uphill B. Go steeply downhill C. Bend sharply to the left D. Bend sharply to the right The correct answer is C. Bend sharply to the left. Adjust your speed in good time and select the correct gear for your speed. Going too fast into the bend could cause you to lose control. Braking late and harshly while changing direction reduces your vehicle's grip on the road and is likely to cause a skid. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 17 of 50 you are following a slower moving vehicle on a narrow country road. There is a junction just ahead on the right. What should you do? A. Overtake after checking your mirrors and signaling. B. Stay behind until you are past the junction. C. Accelerate quickly to pass before the junction. D. Slow down and prepare to overtake on the left. The correct answer is B. Stay behind until you are past the junction. You should never overtake as you approach a junction. If a vehicle emerged from the junction while you were overtaking, a dangerous situation could develop very quickly. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 18 of 50 Braking distances on ice can be A. Twice the normal distance B. Five times the normal distance C. 7 times the normal distance. D. 10 times the normal distance. The correct answer is D. 10 times the normal distance. In icy and snowy weather, your stopping distance will increase by up to 10 times compared to good dry conditions. Take extra care when braking, accelerating and steering to cut down the risk of skidding. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 19 of 50 Overall stopping distance is made up of thinking and braking distance. You are on a good, dry road surface with good brakes and tires. What is the typical braking distance from 50 miles per hour? A. 14 meters 46 feet B. 24 meters 80 feet c 38 meters 125 feet d 55 meters 180 feet the correct answer is c 38 meters 125 feet be aware this is just the braking distance you need to add the thinking distance to this to give the overall stopping distance at 50 miles per hour, the typical thinking distance will be 15 meters, 50 feet, plus a braking distance of 38 meters, 125 feet, giving an overall stopping distance of 53 meters, 175 feet. The distance could be greater than this depending on your attention and response to any hazards. These figures are a general guide. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 20 or 50 What's badly affected if the tires are underinflated? A. Braking B. Indicating C. Changing gear D. Parking The correct answer is A. Braking Your tires are your only contact with the road. To prevent problems with braking and steering keep your tires free from defects. They must have sufficient tread depth and be correctly inflated. Correct tire pressures help reduce the risk of skidding and provide a safer and more comfortable drive or ride.
UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 21 of 50. The legal minimum depth of tread for car tires over three quarters of the breadth is a 1 mm, b 1.6 mm, c 2.5 mm, d 4 mm. The correct answer is b 1.6 mm. Tires must have sufficient depth of tread to give them a good grip on the road surface. The legal minimum for cars is 1.6 mm. This depth should be across the central three quarters of the breadth of the tire and around the entire circumference. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Western 22 of 50. You should never wave people across at pedestrian crossings because a. There may be another vehicle coming, b. They may not be looking, c. It is safer for you to carry on, d. They may not be ready to cross. The correct answer is A. There may be another vehicle coming. If people are waiting to use a pedestrian crossing, slow down and be prepared to stop. Don't wave them across the road since another driver may not have seen them. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Question 23 of 50 You are approaching a pelican crossing. The amber light is flashing. You must a. Give way to pedestrians who are crossing. B. Encourage pedestrians to cross. C. Not move until the green light appears. D. Stop even if the crossing is clear. The correct answer is A. Give way to pedestrians who are crossing. While the pedestrians are crossing, don't encourage them to cross by waving or flashing your headlights. Other road users may misunderstand your signal. UK Driving Theory Practice Test 24 of 50. Which of the following may cause loss of concentration on a long journey? A. Keeping fresh air circulating. B. Arguing with a passenger. C. Stopping regularly to rest. D. Cooling up to tune the radio. The correct answer is B. Arguing with a passenger. You should not allow yourself to be distracted when driving. You need to concentrate fully in order to be safe on the road. Loud music could mask other sounds, such as the audible warning of an emergency vehicle. UK Driving Theory Practice Test Western 25 of 50. Your mobile phone rings while you are on the motorway. Before answering you should A. Reduce your speed to 30 miles per hour. B. Pull up on the hard shoulder. C. Move into the left-hand lane. D. Stop in a safe place. The correct answer is D. Stop in a safe place. When driving on motorways, you can't just pull up to answer your mobile phone. Do not stop on the hard shoulder or slip road. To avoid being distracted, it's safer to switch it off when driving.